said, Eric is the best. It's the Coffee Jelly Hour, episode 46. I'm Tony, and I'm joined by Ace, Matt, and Seth. We're preaching caffeine, motherfuckers. How we doing? Hooray. Hooray. Don't say for Nazis. Like, like yeah, we did no, last week. I know no. oh, we weren't on air yeah. then. Oh, sorry, I've spoiled no, it we now, haven't I? No, no, no. How are we doing? <laughs> are we all okay? Yeah, shh, shh. Forget about that. Forget about that. <coughs> now so anyway. it's a good time to cough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't cough before. Cough when we go live. That's fine. Okay. So, it's coming up to that special time of year. Pumpkin spice. Everything. That's oh, true. Are we all excited? I know Matt's excited. How does Seth and Ace feel about this time of year? Are we all into pumpkin spice shit? Ace is such a white girl when it comes to pumpkin spice. He loves I it. I get pumpkin spice everything. Yeah, Aww. I fucking love pumpkin spice. This pumpkin. And I, I am, I am not apologetic about it. There is nothing more annoying than when people get all fucking hipster about it and they're like, "I don't even like pumpkin spice." I'm like, <laughs> "Good for you." Yep. This right. pumpkin spice Cheerios. I believe I've seen. I was like, that oh, sounds nice. amazing. I need to get them. Yeah, someone someone posted the photo. I was like, oh, I need to get them when I'm in America well, next. Well, and then they, they, like they, like uh, last year they did pumpkin spice Oreos and people were like, mm. oh my god, give it a break already. I'm like, oh, why is that a bad thing? That's right, all exactly. good. I mean, we it's we, not like Swedish fish Oreos. <laughs> Sweet that, real? Fish. that is real. Yep. Uh, oh, you joking? I but, looked for it. I couldn't find it. That's no, sick. they're real. What? Yeah, they had it on Geek Are Shock last Jesus. time. Jesus. Are they like jelly? That sounds gross. Uh, no, no, they're uh, just they're like uh, that fake cherry flavor in the middle. All right. <laughs> That's weird. That just sounds weird. But yeah, we, we don't get a lot of pumpkin spice stuff over here in, 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 in England. We have Starbucks do pumpkin spice latte, which mm-hmm. is great. And there's the odd other stuff. But we need to, I need to go to America to get my fix. You know, so it's, it's one of those things. Question. Right. Here, I've got a question now. Right. I love Halloween. Everything That's about it. No, the, the, I'll get. I'll get to the question eventually. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, can I ramble on for five minutes and I'll get to the question? <laughs> okay. Okay. There we, there we go. So I love Halloween, and then after Halloween. So how did you meet your wife? <laughs> it's the build up. It's the build up to Christmas <laughs> then, and I love. I love Christmas. I'm an atheist, and I love Christmas. Mm-hmm. Now, I have seasonal underwear for Halloween and for Christmas. Do you guys have seasonal underwear for Halloween and Christmas, or is it just me? I want to know. Not no. underwear. I have yeah. socks. I got socks and and sort of boxer shorts for, for both. I have yeah. seasonal pajama bottoms. Oh, H- Halloween or Christmas? Yeah. What have you got? Uh, I have a few pairs of Christmas ones. I oh, don't yeah. have any Halloween ones yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah Christmas yeah. ones. I've I, I just thought I've got I've got a couple of Christmas sort of PJ bottoms kind of thing as well. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. You know, I. I hate getting Christmas themed clothing for Christmas. Yeah. You have to wait a whole year. To I know, wear it. I know. I have got so many pairs of Christmas socks, which are really cool, that I've got to go away in a different drawer for a whole year. <laughs> and it's kind of like, uh, I can't oh, wait to leave. I can't, I can't I know. wait to wear this. Oh, I'll tell you what I do have, though, is a lot of horror shirts that get worn for, for the month of October. Oh, cool. Which, go on. Which ones have you got now? Yeah. Uh, I've got a Halloween shirt. I've got a few shirts with Pennywise on them. Oh. Uh, I've got. I've actually just got like an orange shirt that's got like a Halloween type scene on it. Oh. It's like the moon is like a jack o' lantern, and it's oh, got wicked. dead trees and flying crows and stuff oh. like that. That's awesome. Yeah. I, to, to be honest, I, I'm I'm the same. I've got quite a lot of t-shirts like. Uh, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights ones that sort of come out at sort of this time of year and all that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the odd sort of pumpkin and uh, uh, I think of Michael Myers. I'm, 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 I wear most of my horror ones year round anyway. But yeah, me too. Yeah, there's, 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 there's special ones, but it's good. It's good to celebrate this time of year with different clothes. So speaking of speaking of Pennywise, I'm I'm getting a little scared of it. Go on. Be- because on social media, they're starting to turn into the Ghostbusters. Oh, go on. What's happening? <laughs> Tell me. They're just, like, the actors are apparently being really petulant whenever anybody has any complaints, and it's like, really? oh, please don't, please so, don't start uh, being like that. Like, don't, like, let the film speak for itself. I want to like this so bad. Don't so, be that. So what's happening? People are bitching that, oh, it's a remake, and then the actors are going, but it's dead good. It's going to be great. Yeah, is it one of them? The, the first time I heard about it was The Amazing Atheist did a video where he was basically talking why he didn't like the Pennywise outfit. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I like the Pennywise outfit. He made, he made one valuable point. 
The right. only thing he made that I think was valid was he pointed out that the Tim Curry Pennywise was clearly a trustable clown. Right. Yeah, like yeah. if you look, if you looked at him, he he did he you know there was something off settling about him, but he did look like a child friendly clown. Yeah, yeah, you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pointed out that the, the new the, the, the new image is very like gothic and it's very stylized, and I'm like that's a valid point. Well, I'm not... yeah, but it's also just that one image. We don't yeah, know yeah, that that's... that's they purposefully made that image look like scary clown yeah, image. It's we when he's in you know... full well, well, of evil he, mode. He was, it, again, I'm, I'm going to play devil's advocate for him and against him. Is uh, As he was pointing out, it wasn't the, 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 the lighting effects. It was the fact that the outfit was so, like, broken doll. Mm. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'm like, that's that's actually a valid point. But then immediately afterwards, the kid who plays Henry Bowers was, like, trying oh. to antagonize him. And I'm like, why are you... Oh, really? Him? Getting involved with... Oh, just, yeah. Yeah. He was like, you should talk about our movie, and then he basically broke down why this movie's been in development oh, and all this geez. stuff. And I'm just oh, like, oh fuck. please, please! I'm just I'm looking at the new Pennywise. He looks like he looks well good, and yeah, he looks just, he looks fine as long as as long as they they keep him fairly practical. I'm yeah, gonna be happy. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to see. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't want to see a bunch of CGI on him. I I kind of like him existing and them reacting to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So when when is this due out? When no, do we know? When, uh, next, next year, year it looks like. Is it next year? Is it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just seeing pictures, but I haven't really read much. I think about that it. kid from Stranger Things is in it. Which one? The kid. Yeah, there's uh, a lot the, of kids. In Stranger Things. Main, the kid. The main kid. Oh, the, the main kid. Not not the goofy one who everyone thinks is dead cute. The other kid. No, no the, not the one with the no teeth. The yeah. main kid, the one that the, plays. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Just the checking. Good, the good, good boy. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. I don't know. I'll watch it when it's out. I'll watch it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, I, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna watch it. I just hope that it doesn't turn into a total meltdown. Mm, where it's just, yeah. You're just all haters. You're just haters because you like the old one. Cause it's I know. Like, uh, to, but this one's fair, better. Yeah. So. I've never known anybody who has said they like the old one without throwing a butt out there. I know. Uh, that old one is the yeah. most butt friendly movie yeah, I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> you loves said butt friendly. But, but. <laughs> um, uh, getting off my chest, the thing I did was yeah. I watched the two TMNT films. Yeah. I, uh, I really hated the first one. Man. Oh wow! See, okay. Bro, they, like I felt. Oh, no, I which felt which they, films? They, which films? Uh, my, my my first impression is I hate Megan Fox, and I hate saying oh. that, but it's just she cannot act. She just always seems kind of incredulous, but serious, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and then I felt like it was so tone deaf, and everything that was wrong with the first one, I felt like they fixed it in the second one. It's, it's like they actually listened to everybody's complaints and they were like, okay, there wasn't enough turtles. Okay, we're going to put in more turtles. Oh, jeez. There wasn't they enough of the... They didn't talk about Michelangelo's dick? Nope. His gross turtle dick? <laughs> and, and, and granted, the, the second film school. wasn't perfect, but wow, was it refreshing to see that film do things fun and silly, but, but still have weight to it, but not be super hyper dark. And, and and they didn't have to explain everything. It wasn't like an origin story. I, I yeah, yeah. Liked it. it just got straight into the story, and it was. was I, it did, I didn't like the first one. I felt the right. first one was too slow, and and uh, apparently, to be fair, the first one was apparently the victim of bad editing. Oh, mm -hmm. But yeah, also, yeah. Michelangelo talks about his gross turtle dick. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. Well, Why? okay. So, so the origin story is the film was actually shot with the Why alien does he do that? story. So uh, that they they were aliens at first, and then they had to recut it. Thus, the gross the dick. Stuff. The gross hence, gross, gross <clears throat> dick. Yeah. Hence the really really random fact that April O'Neil created them or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was dumb. <clears throat> that was literally like like a twelfth hour edition. And the other thing they had to add in was originally the Shredder was a white guy. Right, right. The, the owner of the evil organization was going to be the Shredder, and then basically somebody was like, you can't replace an Asian guy with a white guy. This is 2020. Oh, jeez, jeez. Yep. And so they really quickly put the Shredder in there, so they had two Shredders, kind of. They had, like, random Asian guy who did nothing. He was just like, I'm Asian, 
and I hate the tattoos. <laughs> and then they, they had like a white guy who had all the motivation. It was fucking weird. Oh. So yeah, the, the second film was uh, was good. It was bad. I liked it. It was bad. I, I didn't expect to like it, but yeah. I liked it. I was like, oh, this is really fun and refreshing. Especially after yeah. watching the misery that was Batman v Superman. I'm like, oh, have you seen Boy, it? No. I'm a movie where the characters interact really good to each other and have personality, and they're not all Batman? <laughs> So that's oh, sorry, I want to fuck the pig and the rhino. <laughs> oh god, they they were they were they made me think of you. They they're dad bods. God yeah, <laughs> sleazy <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Fucking love them. That's I'll the only reason I want to see the movie. <laughs> and, and 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 to be fair, they're actually in it a, a good deal. I thought for sure that because they'd hyped them so much, I thought they were gonna wait for like the last ten minutes to unveil Bebop and Rocksteady. But they turned up early. Yeah, they, they they're showed in a up early, and, and they're, they're yeah. In I don't, I don't know if I want to see. It's not a great film. It's actually pretty dumb, but it's oh. no more stupid than Secret of Views. Yeah, but yeah. But it's yeah. like fun, dumb, right? Fun, dumb. Yeah, it's it's yeah. very fun. And, yeah, you have fun while watching it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. They, like, they went the opposite direction with Krang, but I didn't hate it because they still got a professional voice actor to play him. Oh uh, right. <laughs> they got Brad Garrett. Is that who it is? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who who is a professional voice actor? If you look at yeah. his credit. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, and and I like that. I was like, fuck, this is good because I thought for sure that you would just get some actor to play Krang that would have been uncomfortable, and instead they got somebody who actually had the blessing of the original guy. Cool. So cool. yeah, I I liked it. I, I didn't. I, I give it a solid B. Oh. That's good. I'm the exact good. opposite. I liked the first one way better. Really? I thought the second one was so fucking stupid. Oh. Well, but the Ninja Turtles are stupid. You can't, <laughs> you can't take them that seriously. Yeah, plus, yeah. plus, they got rid of Megan Fox pretty much. And mm. man, that's true. That did help. Yeah, I, 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 I hate that I'm super judgmental about her. But like, her only characteristic in every movie I've seen her in is she's hot. Yeah, if you turn but, the if you turn but, the sound down, put the sound on mute while she's on screen. It's way better. Really. Well, I mean that that's how they play her off. Like that's her yeah. character. Like she's <laughs> hot, but you shouldn't underestimate her. And that's every fucking movie with her. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, Everybody's wow. like, I want to fuck you, and she's like, I do science. <laughs> <laughs> Brainy too. I'm a journalist. <laughs> what was really yeah. weird was I the can scene write. with Bebop and Rocksteady just fucking. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think I'll be watching either of those movies, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna. Well, that's that, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 I mean, After those reviews, you'll well, survive. So yeah, yeah. So this week, I watched the original Poltergeist again. I thought I'd give it a go because it's kind of coming up to Halloween, and it's it still holds up. It's still fun. I still enjoyed it. I'm gonna that have... classic Sam Rockwell performance and that CGI. <laughs> it's so good. No, the original. Not the new one. <laughs> I'm avoiding no, there, the new there, one. Like there the was an original? Yeah, what? 1980 <laughs> something? You do realize there was. No? I, I'm sure it was I probably directed by nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, the original is still good. It's still good. It's still fucking spooky. And I kind of I enjoyed that. And, Did it have jump scares? Uh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Yes, yes. They weren't called. No, but it's got that jump short, disgusting woman with the squeaky voice. Uh, Zelda something? I'm trying to remember her last name. <laughs> Go to the light, Cameron! Go to the light! <laughs> All I can think of when I th- now when I think of her, though, is a bit Gilbert Gottfried did about midgets. Oh. Have any of you heard Gilbert Gottfried's bit about midgets? I I'm haven't. not going to... I'm not even going to attempt, but he goes... I can imagine. He talks about... Uh, <laughs> he talks about he, how he hates midgets. And, uh, you're, you're not allowed to not attempt Gilbert God. There are two people in this world that, like, if you talk about, you have to inflect their voice. Okay. Gilbert yeah. Godfrey See, and when Marge you, Simpson. Okay. There he okay. Is. There he is. I hate. I wish you would just all have an ice pick just driven right into your eye, and then a midget would come along and start jumping up and down on it. And then Hervé Villachez comes along, and the first midget says, "Hey, Hervé Villachez, hop on up here," and he hops on up and he starts jumping on it, and then. That short, disgusting woman with the squeaky voice from Poltergeist comes along, and Hervé Villachez says to her, Hey, short, disgusting lady from 
poltergeist hop on up here so she jumps on up and starts on jumping on it and I really hate midgets <laughs> I, that was very good I, 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 I have to admit uh, as, as much as I as much as I I, I love uh, Darwin being uh, uh, <laughs> the name yeah. Paul in Paul yeah, yeah. Paul in yeah yeah, it, it might have been better for Darwin to be oh, <laughs> that, that would be clever. We, you know what? You need to do another character. In, in well, okay. Yeah. I'll try. I'll do my best. Yeah. Put it in your pocket. There'll be, put it, there'll I'll be put a new it in one. My pocket. I mean, it's too well, late one now. Of the areas, one of the areas I was actually looking was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I was surprised how amazing that fan fiction is. Oh, is it good? There was a lot of, As like, bad. really romantic... Oh. Gay turtle stuff. I bet. With gross turtle like, dicks. Like there's a there's a lot of like like Splinter Splinter doesn't understand or love Raphael, but oh. but I know you love me. No oh, Mikey, geez. when I look into your eyes I see a couple of pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, I'm gonna what stand are the, up for a minute. I gotta go stop there. a rabbit from destroying things. Hang on. Go I'll on. be back. Okay. What? The mashups are, are stereotypically just hey, any of the turtles, like, hey, usually fucking each other. No, I, I know, but, like, is it Donatello and Raphael? So I, you would probably know better than I would, because I, I, I don't know. Can I just stop? Usually Donatello and Raphael, and then Michelangelo and Donatello. Did, Those are the two main matchups. Is Leonardo see. just register as straight? Can I, can I just ask a question? Is Matt said, just said he's gone to, to sort the rabbit out before he destroys anything? I, I, don't, I didn't hear what he said. I just thought I, he was leaving. Let's, let's what, not what, call what? attention to the missing co host. The bunny. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just wondering. I'm wondering. <laughs> are you, are you, yeah. I'm wondering if Ace is destroying things. Is that, is, is, he's gone to sort you out. Oh, I, I do. I, 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 yeah. He, he likes the first. Things. He likes the first Teenage Mutant okay, Ninja Turtles movie. Okay, so this guy. <laughs> ah, there we go. No, listen, He listen. wants to have sex with his wife, but she won't do it. She says she's sick. And so the man goes to the doctor and he says, Doctor, I don't know whether my wife has TB or VD. And the doctor says, well, here's how you know. Just chase her around the bed. And if she coughs, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Listen, I know it's probably too late now. But in our fan fiction, Blast could have been Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind, I kind, I kind of like our dueling banjos on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I imagine Blast the story's going to get kind of, incredibly yeah, rapey. Forgot about Blast. Blast. Blast is my bad Elvis How can you forget about Blast? How can you forget yeah, about Blast? Yeah, Blast Hellstorm or Hell yeah. Fister. Blast Hellstorm. Blast Hellstorm. Yeah. Blast Hellstorm yeah. is Hashtag giant dick. Blast Speaking of which, should we just dive right in? Should we dive right in? Let's dive right the Fuck in. We talked about what, what, so, uh, oh, uh, 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 really, really, really quickly. Not to get, not to get too much on too on. Geek, uh, territory. But uh, what is that new Batman costume you shared? What the fuck is that? It's bad. Is what it is. Well, I it's, know it's uh, bad, but like, is that actually for a movie? Yeah, yeah. It's for. Ju it's his quote unquote tactical bat suit from the new Justice League movie. Wow. I legit thought that that was like just a glimpse of something. For no, Gotham. no, no. It, and, it looks uh, like it's made for TV. The the ear the 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 mask throws it all off. Like the ears are fucking weird, and the shape is of the neck and everything. It's it's weird looking. Is it is it strange that Batman is literally reverting back onto himself? Like he started off with a very subdued costume, and then his costume got more and more elaborate, and now it's kind of going back to just being a ninja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Actually, it's more complicated in that tactical bat suit picture than it was in the last Batman movie. It's got more pieces to it. Yeah, but complicated, complicated like like military armor, complicated, not yeah. complicated like like '90s action figure. Oh yeah, yeah, no uh, '90s action figures were crazy. Was, was that posted on your wall? Was it, Matt? Because I'm just scrolling down your wall. Ah, uh, yeah, I posted it. No, I, I posted it on Twitter. Oh, I don't Twitter? think I've posted Fucking it. Fucking hell! I've just gone on. I've just gone onto your wall on. Facebook yeah, and all I can I, see is just you eating mm. pumpkin spice shit all the way down. <laughs> it's making me hungry. Yeah. Bitch. No, he only I, does okay. it in spite of you. Do, do you know that he's actually deathly allergic to pumpkins, but he knows that you really want it, so he's <laughs> yeah. really devoted to the bit. Yeah. <laughs> just out of sight, you use my EpiPen, and I'm just injecting <laughs> it right now. <laughs> God breathe, next swelling off. But I'm making two. And jealous. I buy the real EpiPen because I support drug companies just jacking the shit up out of prices, man. <laughs> well, that's a whole other thing. 
Yeah, let's let's yeah. get into it. All right, fan fiction. Yeah. Fine. I guess we can all agree. We can all agree though. Trump bad. Uh, Trump yes. bad. Trump bad. Trump bad. Trump. Trump okay. Bad. Good. Okay. Welcome to Eric 2016. Different from here on out by Hellbent 13, Chapter 7, and we are part way through Chapter 7, and we are going to start at. Are you, you're stalling. Well, is he a virgin? <laughs> Gumball said, laughing a little to Eric. Yeah. He's a virgin. Eric said. Blast's face turned red, causing Eric and Gumball to laugh. Red is the devil's, devil's dick. dick. Oh, damn, I missed that. <laughs> to laugh a little, which only made his face turn more red as the devil's dick. He folded his arms and looked a mix of pissed and embarrassed. Hey, don't worry about it, dude. Gumball would still be a virgin if I didn't help him get with Gary. God. <laughs> You'll find the right one. Eric said, trying to reassure Blast. They're in the middle of class. So I yeah. know. But, yo, but remember, Miss process. Simeon went out. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Because Eric told her to go, hey, take five minutes. <laughs> take five. I'm the teacher now, God damn it. <laughs> Y'all, this is a skull can. <laughs> yeah, he's right. Don't worry about it. Gumball said, also trying to reassure Blast. Uh, thanks, guys. Blast said, "Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It is blast. That is blast." The yeah, redness <laughs> was leaving his face. He appreciated that they made him feel less embarrassed about it. Heaven forbid somebody be a virgin at fifteen. Oh, I know, right? What a shocker! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said he was seventeen. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, he looks seventeen. Hey, you wanna you wanna come hang out with us and the rest of? Uh, with us and the rest of the crew after school? Gumball said awkwardly to Blast. I'll just put that awkwardly in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I ain't got nothing better to do. Blast said. <laughs> That's cracking me. Cool. You want to see something funny? Eric said with a devilish grin. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess. <laughs> Blast he's just gonna punk, punch the fuck out of somebody. Hang on, he's just gonna start beating somebody <laughs> up while smoking Watch weed. Watch this. I'm gonna get real high. <laughs> hey kids, you wanna get high? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh. I don't like that smile. Gumball said, curious and concerned at the same time. You'll see. She should be back any. Eric began before Miss Simeon entered the room. Eric! Nigel! Eric! <laughs> Nigel, Nigel said he didn't ask for me to come to his office. That's three hours detention. Miss Simeon said, a bit pissed off. Not three hours. Anything but that. Eric said sarcastically. He then yawned and put his feet on the, on his desk while leaning back in his chair. This made Miss Simeon very angry. You mess with the pool! You get the horns! <laughs> Miss Simeon yelled. No. <laughs> nothing, no, no, nothing for, 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 uh, for a fucking uh, Breakfast Club reference? Oh, um, no, 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 no. I, I didn't get it. It was good, though. Uh, yeah, well Someone done. Someone will appreciate it. Yeah, someone yeah, out there. Somebody out there. Someone. Dude, stop oh. while you're ahead. You're going to get detention forever if you don't. Gumball said quietly to Eric, making sure not to let Miss Simeon hear. Eric just ignored this statement. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna improvise something about Eric being a time lord and going into Doctor Who, but I like what the story has better. <laughs> What was that, Miss Simeon? I'm sorry, but I couldn't hear you over the sound of me not giving a fuck. <laughs> Eric said, smiling. Everyone's jaws dropped upon hearing <gasps> what Eric said, except for Blast, who had his head on his desk so Miss Simeon wouldn't see him laughing. Miss Simeon, Simeon freaked out and flipped her desk while she made ape noises. <laughs> that's, that's, that's actually what people in the South called rap. <laughs> it's very racist, we have to shoot though. her Harambe's on the We have to shoot her Harambe's on okay. the rampage Pow 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 Okay <laughs> Later in the cafeteria pom -pom. Blast got his lunch and looked for a table He spotted Gumball sitting with some people he didn't know And since Gumball was one of the few people he did know He decided <laughs> to sit with them He walked up to the table they were sitting at Can I sit here? Blast asked 
uh, so, fucking hell, blast Seth's a gumball. Yeah, say. have a seat, dude. Gumball Seth. Blast sat in the chair to the right of Gumball. This is my girlfriend, Carrie Kruger. <laughs> Gumball. Didn't know that was her last name. Gumball said, rather confused, motioning towards She's Carrie. She's my who is, daughter, bitch! <laughs> who was sitting to the left of him. <laughs> is it his daughter, Freddy's? Yes! Oh. <laughs> that is Eric's girlfriend, Jamie. Gumball said, pointing to Jamie, who was sitting in front of him on the other side of the table, and strangely not mentioning her surname like he did his girlfriend. But we won't question that. That's because Jamie doesn't have a surname. Seriously. You're, you're <laughs> he tells that. I'm just right down. a surname for this character because this character is yeah, it's gonna largely come up. Hey, yeah. It's going to come up. Yeah, I've, just, I've just read it. I, 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 I actually lost where I was in the thing. <laughs> I'm trying to find it, but I accidentally closed the window. No. Uh, it's Gumball. Nice. It's Gumball's line anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. You have time so to catch up. It. Yeah. I was wrong. Jamie, what is your last name? Gumball said. I'm still lost! <laughs> <laughs> said Jamie, rather confused. Just call me Jamie. And that is an autobiography. Gumball said, pointing to Lexi, who was sitting in front of Blast. Lowercase b. <gasps> I get to have a romance with myself. <laughs> yes! <Yay! laughs> Oh, they are gonna fuck, aren't they? It's, yeah, that's, that's, right there. That's called cool masturbation. It's okay. It's not. It's not solo sex. It's fine. Don't worry. Blast and love. Oh, is that? Oh, is that where we are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. I know. I'm oh, sorry. Fucking. Hell, I, I didn't even fucking read it. Blast and Lexi oh. locked eyes for a few seconds. That was me. Before they both looked away, slightly embarrassed. I just got so excited over having a romance. with Yeah, myself. I know. I did as well. Yeah. Hi. I'm just like watching you. <laughs> Lexi said, smiling and waving meekly. Hi. Blast said, smiling. He's cute. Le Lexi thought, still looking at Blast. Oh, she's one hot mama. <laughs> Blast <laughs> thought, still looking at Lexi. Their thoughts were interrupted by the cafeteria door slamming open. <laughs> 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 the, line, the next oh, line's God. a killer. If only we had a <laughs> sick guitar solo to start up right now. <laughs> yeah, we was like, have no fear, I have returned. Eric said loudly as he approached Finally. the table, making them smile and laugh a little. He sat down next to Jamie and kissed her. You know, I'm actually worried that Eric is just gonna become fucking elf. Uh, like the like the comedic <laughs> like Rouge <"Where's your> Kits. Because <laughs> he's no longer a part of the story, he's just this comedic like, I'm gonna steal the scene. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Keep going. Uh, Where oh, are we? So much so how much trouble did you get in? Jamie said to Eric God. after the kiss ended. Ugh. <laughs> well, I was able to blackmail my oh way out of it. God. Eric said in victory. Are you reading down? Oh, yes. geez, it's getting worse. How? 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 Everyone how? Psychopath. Everyone eventually said at once. Again, I was going to improvise, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's better than what I, I have in mind. To. Oh. I told them I had pictures of them fucking in Mr. Brown's office desk, and I would show the whole school. Eric said, laughing. How did you get those? Gumball said, making Eric look at him like he was stupid. Get the fuck out! <laughs> get out! <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't have them. I just told them that, and I hoped it was true. Guess it was. Eric said, making everyone get a mental image. Eric, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Gumball said. Disgust and everyone agreed. That's what it says. Disgusted. Disgust. <laughs> Disgust. Gumball said disgust and everyone. <laughs> yeah, and everyone Disgusted, agreed. Disgusted, maybe? Disgusted, yes. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After school, dun, dun. Gumball, Carrie, Eric, Jamie, Blast, and Lexi, full stop, walked outside the school and stood <laughs> around talking for a little. Did you bring your motorcycle to school? Gumball said to Blast. No, but I'll bring it tomorrow. Blast said. Looks like you're riding with us. Eric said. <laughs> oh, it's cracking me up. They went to Eric's truck and got oh, in. No. Jay 
Jamie was riding shotgun. Gumball and Carrie sat together in the back with Lexi and Blast sitting next to each other. As soon as Eric turned the key and started the truck, a rock song played loudly on oh the God. radio. And finally, we one we know. Yes, I'm not. I wish I could it. play it right now, but you guys wouldn't even be able to hear it. Can I'm on <laughs> highway to hell. All of a sudden. Can we do it? Can we? Can we? Can we play it somewhere? I don't think you guys can hear it, but oh, I can just on. skip it. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. Highway to hell. Just hold on a sec. Let's see, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It's going to be shit. Hold on. Copyright strike. Oh, it's live. Oh. Can anyone hear that? Put, put it right, right up to the mic. <laughs> no, don't! Oh, I'm going to turn it off. Forget it. This is my tunes! That's we just my get, jam! Should we, should we just get back to it, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Satan! Yeah, highway to hell. Blah, 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 blah. Don't stop me. Eric got devilish grin on his face, making everyone oh, no. buckle their seats, belts quickly, except for Blast, who was confused as to why they buckled up so fast. Eric burned tire and took burned tire and took off, making everyone slam back in their seats, catching Blast by surprise. Woo! They all yelled Woo! Their hands up like it was a roller coaster, except for Blast, who was holding onto the seat for dear life. After we about a minute. Buckled up anyway. I know he's not very sensible. It's the he's, law. Yeah, he, he's a bit of. He likes breaking the law. <laughs> After about a minute, Blast started to enjoy himself. He put his hands up like everyone else and laughed. Eric was now on a straight stretch to Gumball to Gumball House and started to pick up major <laughs> speed. I read it as it's. Hey guys, no hands. Eric said as he let go of the steering wheel and drove with his knees. He put in a chew of snuff and started <laughs> driving with his hands again. They were coming up on Gumball's house, so he slowed down. He pulled a train horn. He pulled a train horn and parked in front of Gumball's house. They all got out and headed for the front door. That, uh, that was, that was sweet. We were hauling some serious ass. Blast said, still feeling the adrenaline rush. They went inside and hung out for a while before they had to go home. That was interesting. They're not going to sleep over at Gumball's yeah, house no. again? That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> hey, hey, hey bum, Glass, bum. you live here now. 8 p.m. <laughs> See you later. See you guys later. Gumball said as Eric, Jamie, Carrie, and Blast started to head out of the door to go to their own homes. They have homes? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think so, but yeah, apparently. Yeah. See ya, 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 we'll see you soon. Soon, they all said. <laughs> Eric took Carrie home. Then Jamie, who got a kiss, f then Jamie, who we got a kiss from before she got out of the truck, he was now taking a blast home. You like Lexi, I can see it. <laughs> Eric said from out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I do a little. Blast said, turning red. Don't downplay it. Come on. You're fucking Jeez. rubbing off your elbows. I know you. It's it's hard not to it's hard not to do it. It's just it's a fucking contagious. I'm hoping by the end of this all the characters are just Elvis. Just Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't downplay it. Come on, dude. Eric said, laughing a little. <laughs> uh, Alright, fine. Uh like her a lot. Blast said with a big grin and laughing a little. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna hit that or what? <laughs> Eric said jokingly, such a gent. You just uh, shut up, dude. Blast said, smiling and turning red. As the devil's dick. But for real, I think you're a good guy. I just met you. I but met yeah. you. I tried to beat you up, but. <laughs> But if you ever hurt her, the consequences will make you wish you were going to hell. Was a possibility. <laughs> Eric said, rather seriously. I won't ever hurt her. Blast said seriously. Eric looked at him for a few seconds. <laughs> Still driving. Yeah. <laughs> this right in his eyes. It's dangerous, this. Wise men said <laughs> Only fools oh my God. rush Well, the birth of my soul was wrong me I bet you like a man on a fuzzy tree Who do you think when you have such luck I'm in love <laughs> I'm all shook up I can see you're telling the truth Thank you, thank you very much I just wanted to put thank that you. out thank there much. Eric said, smiling a little I know Plus said, smiling a little as well 
What was he gonna say? Was he gonna say, "Oh yeah, I want to. I'm gonna hurt her." Man, yeah. I'm gonna take her home. I'm gonna fuck? take off my belt. I'm just gonna beat her for not making me a sandwich. <laughs> Peanut butter and banana. Boom. <laughs> that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. But where are we now? All right. See you later, dude. All right. Eric said, giving him a fist bump. Sorry. See ya. Class said as he got out of the truck and headed for the front door. Eric took off like he used the. Do, do, dose, making glass. Dose. dose, the dose, that isn't it? Dose. Making glass yeah, smiles himself. He had a dose. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna have to hang out with him some more. That was pretty fun. Blast thought. The end of chapter seven. He's not, he's not fucking terrified. I know. Of this maniac. Yeah. He's a potential fucking serial killer. Should we do a little bit of? Yeah, chapter? Let's roll a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, a bit of chapter eight. We're only like a half an hour in. Chapter 8, A Lullaby of Pain. Oh, God. What a beautiful title. Oh, oh shit. Are we, are we all ready for this? Are we all ready for this? Yep. Yeah. Wake me up! Wake, <laughs> me, Wake up. me up inside! Wake me up before you go. <laughs> That's go. what I thought when you said Not Wake Me Up. Song. I know. Uh, I would prefer that one, but That's a, I, that is a lullaby. I just think like Eric is getting out his FS. Lullaby of Pain. Let's see. Uh, I was trying to go through my Elvis songs real quick and lullaby. think of the saddest one. Lullaby, ones, lullaby, there must be a lullaby. Oh, okay, uh, a lullaby of pain. Tuesday, dun, 640, dun, dun, 640, dun. 643 a.m. I wanted a dun-dun to every single 643 a.m. Oh, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to keep up with you. No, no, okay, no, no, that's fine. Gumball and Lexi were waiting for Eric to come pick them up for school as usual. Gumball was wearing a black t-shirt. Oh, I like it when they, talk, they do this part. Yeah, Gumball I like knowing what they're dressed as. Yeah. It's the same every day, though, isn't it? Gumball was wearing a black black shirt with a skull on it. No, no, it's not. And worn blue jeans. Lexi was wearing her usual, yeah, black t-shirts. She was wearing black t-shirts with short blue skirts. She had more than one t-shirt. Oh, black I found the. I found it. I found the. I found the lullaby. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Well, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. Well, <laughs> you'll be so lonely, baby. You'll feel so lonely. You'll feel so lonely. You could die. Uh, that's the, that's you know, the lullaby. The, uh, the residents cool. do an entire Elvis album that's fucking magical. Oh. That sounds amazing. I need to listen to that. It's fucking amazing. I have been listening to a lot of... Uh, Residents this week, as Ace knows. Well, I'm going to be listening to a lot of Elvis later. <laughs> yeah, after this. Right, let's. Uh, where are we up to? They heard Eric pull up to the house and honk the train horn. They went outside and got in the back seat. Gumball sat next to Carrie, who was wearing a black and who was wearing a black and t-shirt and skirt. Okay. <laughs> Lexi sat on the very right of the back seat and Jamie was riding shotgun as usual. Jamie's wearing a black t shirt. They're all wearing black t shirts and tight blue jeans. They're wearing short the same shirt short. as they're each all other. Emo. She, she's wearing short shorts. I hope they're all wearing trench coats too. Short shorts. Guys, Eric, Eric only has one shirt, by the way. We're about to And it's fucking it. iconic! And here, Whoa. It is, here it is, here it is. Eric was wearing his get some shirt. <laughs> Come on, yeah! Guys. Camo yeah, icon! Camouflage pants. Now, my question, camouflage pants, how did he actually find them in the cupboard? <laughs> camouflage pants, work boots, and of course his mask. It seems... And he smells like terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like he's never washed his clothes. It seemed like a normal day, but Gumball noticed Eric looked pretty pissed off. <gasps> no way! Eric? Dun, dun. Eric's never pissed off. <laughs> you okay, dude? Gumball said to Eric... <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric said, still looking pissed. You're not fine. What's wrong? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Jamie said to Eric with concern in the voice. I'm still laughing at Eric. Nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> Eric said, forcing a smile. He then kissed her and drove off. Jamie didn't say anything. She just watched him with concern, as was everyone else. Especially with him driving and looking pissed off. Eric drove and was almost to the school when he had to stop for a stoplight, making him mumble under his breath. He noticed the man in the car next to him looking at him. What the fuck are you-
are you looking at? Do you want me to come over there and rip out one of your ribs and stab you to death with it? Eric yelled, making the man look away quickly and startling everyone in the truck. Dude, calm down. Gumball said concerned. I am calm. Perfectly calm. Can't you see how calm I am? Eric said, gritting his teeth and struggling to act calm. It was quite evident that he was very angry, but everyone decided not to say anything. They soon arrived at school and meet Blast at the front doors. Met Blast. What's up, guys? Blast said, smiling to the group. Nothing much. Nothing much. <laughs> they, all coordinated. they all said, ex <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get that one when it makes it. Don't worry. They all said, except for Eric, who was spaced out and seemed to be in his own world. Uh, you're okay? Blast said to Eric. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Eric said, trying to act happy. Blast saw he was trying to hid his feelings, but like everyone else, decided not to say anything. Can we all guess at this point what's wrong with him? I think he's got a rash. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> got My mask itches. <laughs> I think his, uh, his taint is bleeding. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, brought a motorcycle, did I? Blast said to Gumball. Sweet, you can follow us after school and hang out with us at my house. Gumball said. And then never leave. <laughs> you, can, you can live here. But, oh, sounds uh, like a plan. Blast said. The school day was pretty normal, except for Eric getting progressively angrier as the day went on, but he somehow managed to keep a lid on it. After school, bum, bum. Gumball, Carrie, Eric, Jamie, Blast and Lexi were standing on the sidewalk after the bell to leave rang. Uh, Alright, so uh, I'll just follow you guys to Gumball's house. Blast said as he went to get his motorcycle. Eric and the rest of them got in the truck and waited for Blast. Soon Blast pulled in behind Eric, riding a black Harley Davidson that looked totally badass. <gasps> Eric pulled out. <laughs> defined badass. <laughs> Eric pulled out and headed to Gumball's house with Blast following. How Eric cool never is pulls out. <laughs> Eric was gripping the steering wheel tightly and looked like he was going to explode. You sure you're okay? Oh god, more metal music. Gum god, there is Gumball said concerned. I'm fine, I just need music. Eric said as he turned on the CD player. A metal song played loudly. It was halfway through the song, and it could not have been the worst time for this, this particular part. And no then down with the again. sickness, do again. What is it? I'll be a good boy. Yep. I'll be good. No, when we don't hit me, well, no, 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 no. yeah, 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 yeah. It's Fuck you. I don't Can need you play this the, shit. You play stupid, the fucking whore. How would you like to see how it feels, mommy? Here it comes. Get rid of it. Who, who the fuck? What song is it? It's down with the sickness it by Disturbed. Oh, got it. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Are they, is that the lyric? I know the song. It's about. in the middle. It's yeah. in. It's like there, there's. Yeah, it's there's the a breakdown part at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know it. I know it. I know it. Da na 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 da na na na. It's a good song. Hearing these lyrics I'll gave. Get down with the sickness. Yeah. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Hearing these lyrics, Eric uh, gave Eric the little push he needed to be sent over the edge. The veins in his eyes grew. He smashed the gas and took a detour that led to the woods. Blast followed him, just barely keeping up. Do what's wrong. Gumball said, very concerned for Eric. Eric just kept driving, looking more pissed than ever. In no time, he was tearing down a dirt road was now in the middle of the woods he slammed on the brakes and got out of the truck Blast pulled up beside the truck he got off his bike and opened Gumball's door I'm just going to pick out every what, single what, fucking what's wrong man Blast are concerned uh, Eric is just having a meltdown again this happens a lot oh that's alright I'll just think of love me <laughs> Gumball <laughs> said love so, me true seeing Eric standing in the middle of the road my okay <laughs> every <be> Muslim, okay. <laughs> <laughs> every Muslim, Eric's body was tense. His arms were stretched out, and he could feel a ball of pure rage in the pit of his stomach. I thought it said it. I think that's just balls. gas, dude. Yeah, he's gonna come out in a minute. I'd stand back from him. He <laughs> grew. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> he's just gonna shit himself in a minute. He grew and grew until it consumed his whole body, and it finally burst. I told you. <laughs> I told you. He's shit himself. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> 
Oh god, I was taking a drink. I almost died. <laughs> I was like you with a mouthful of drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Jesus. That's funny. That's funny. Good time. Okay, I'm okay. Kill that. I think it would have yeah, been funnier if it had been the goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Eric yells so loud and violently. It caused a fine mist of blood to shoot from his mouth. He felt like. Because <laughs> 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 that happens to all of us. That I think this kid needs to go. You know when you're so mad. You know when you're so mad that you yell up blood. Oh. Do you reckon this kid who wrote this is coughing up blood? He thinks it's normal. He felt like destroying the world. He needed to hit something, and his eyes locked on a very large hickory tree. He ran at it and punched it as hard as he could, sending small pieces of wood flying. He continued to punch the tree, breaking his hands. More every time he did, his hands poured blood. After each blow, the skin didn't have enough time to heal. Oh yeah, magic healing. <laughs> oh yeah, forget about that. Yeah, don't forget about that. Because he's hitting so fast, it's just not healing. Uh, before he hit the tree again. He hit the tree until his hands were shattered. He was still full of rage, and he picked up a very large rock and threw it at the tree, only for the rock to split in half. Wow, hard tree. Eric backed a good distance away from the tree and ran full speed into it with his shoulder. When he made contact, he broke his collarbone, a few ribs, and the impact sent a shock throughout his body. He repeatedly ran into the tree until his body gave out and hit the ground. He tried to get off, I don't know why it's funny, and continued... But his body wouldn't let him. Everyone was watching in shock and great concern. They've all got like the cell phones out now video on this on. Uh, man, I, I think we should take this guy who's like a trust. Blast it. Blast that astonished and concerned. <sighs> Come on, let's go help him. <laughs> Come on, uh -huh. said to Blast. They both ran up to him and grabbed an arm on either side. They picked him up and dragged him to the truck. Put me in the passenger side. Eric said as he tried his best to walk and shake off the physical pain. What are you, man? Man, I lit. Blast said, not expecting an answer. As he and Gumball sat there Eric in the passenger seat after Jamie moved to the back seat next to Carrie, Eric seemed to have calmed down dramatically. He sat there with a blank look on his face as everyone waited for him to say something. That feels better. <laughs> Eric said chuckling weekly he's chuckling <laughs> once a week that's what it says there how do you feel better look at you man Gumball said concerned not really <laughs> not that arse <laughs> physical pain is nothing compared to emotional pain that I just let out. I feel better for now, but had a price. Eric said, smiling weakly as he let his head rest against the seat. What do you mean at a price? I don't understand. Gumball said, still kind of concerned. Mm. <laughs> mm, maybe not. <laughs> I just opened a can of worms. I have done this Pandora's before. can of worms. <laughs> I think it should be a can of bees. I thought you could say beans. No, bees. Beans. 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 Human Although beans. beans are good, yeah. Beans are good, too. I just opened up a can of split peas and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Chickpeas. I have done this before, oh, and I know what is coming next. I better enjoy this short moment of peace. Eric said. Creepily. Wasn't there a demon? Wasn't that the antagonist? Why is Eric now the... Never mind. Oh, jeez. Wait, so, so Eric is going to turn into the Hulk? What's going on here? Don't make me angry. Okay. <laughs> so, should we just fucking go? <laughs> Gumball said, getting progressively more concerned with the way Eric was talking. I that was concerned. <laughs> yeah, I was concerned. Yeah, I was shitting so. Man, I'm getting a little bit scared over here. Uh, I think I pooped a little bit. <laughs> Not as much as Eric. <laughs> I opened the lid, and now it's all gonna come out. <laughs> Just like the poop. Eric, <laughs> that's yeah. called being relieved yeah. of constipation, He's man. He's opened his sphincter. Tonight I will feel the greatest pain inside of me I have ever felt. Yeah. Like my soul is He's being torn shits. apart, 
and it feels oh, like there's wow. a large <laughs> there is a large oh, black hole that, oh, that breeds that breeds sadness oh, where my oh. heart should be. After that, I should be burnt out for about two Most days. Most evil then, song in the world. Then, then be back what I <laughs> consider normal. But I am doomed to repeat this process again and again. And it'll never stop. No matter how many girls I get in my Nobody place. understands me. Well, Eric said. You know, by the sound of it, I think he's got like stomach flu or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Been torn apart, large black hole that breeds sadness and all inside. Yeah, <sighs> he's got the shits. Yeah. No one knew what to say. They just continued <coughs> to look at him. Well, I guess we should go to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a <laughs> tortured soul, but let's go to your house. Let's buddy. make the most of it now. <clears throat> Gumbo. What's the matter with your friend? <laughs> Gumball, you brought that idiot into my house. I'm gonna punch you. It's <laughs> gonna touch it so. Mom, Dad, the TV's broken. You're my parents now. Uh, uh, but but <clears throat> I guess we should go to your house, but you're gonna have to drive. Eric said to Gum. Eric said to Gumball. Said. Success. <laughs> what? The fuck? Wait, why do I have to drive? Gumball said. Well, for one, Blast has to drive his motorcycle. And two, look at my hands. Eric said, holding up his busted hands. It they look stumps. like... They look like... <laughs> Bloody stumps. Good, strong hands. They look like weird, tiny Donald Trump hands. <laughs> <laughs> they Trump don't hands. look right! Jamie said, concerned. Eric looked at his hands for a moment, <coughs> then, t then to Blast and Gumball. Uh -huh. You guys are going to have to set them. Eric said. Uh, Al. Blast said. Just hold each of my fingers and I'll do the rest. Eric Don't said. Put this bird on us. Oh, oh. Eric said, holding out his hands. Gumball and Blast grabbed one finger tightly, and Eric pulled back. And moved his hands around until the finger looked straight and felt like it was in the right spot. They continued this process until Eric's fingers and hand looked right. I surprised him to go into a description with every single finger. Then he moved on to the next uh, finger, and the next uh, finger, and the next finger. Uh, I can feel bones moving around. <laughs> oh, Blast said, a little disgusted. Alright, Gumball, let's get going. You know, he didn't quite answer how come Gumball has to do it. I guess he just doesn't trust trust women. <laughs> no. Drive. They can't women drive. Women drivers. <laughs> women and Car Asians. Hard. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't have my license though. Gumball said a little nervous. You'll be fine. I'll show you the back roads. <laughs> Eric said. Seductively. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Gumball said, still a little nervous. Gumball got in the driver's seat and started the truck. He put it in drive and pulled out with Blast following him. Eric gave Gumball directions, and in a short while, they were at Gumball's house. That was pretty good. Eric said to Gumball. Thanks. Thanks. Gumball said, rather proud of himself. He then got out of the truck, as did everyone else. <clears throat> Eric was walking on his own, but rather awkwardly. He was having trouble keeping his balance. Blast followed them inside and they went upstairs. They played video games for about two hours. By that time, Eric's behavior started to change. He became silent and had moved further away from everyone into a corner. No one noticed as they were having fun and talking amongst themselves. After a while longer, Gumball heard something strange and focused on it to hear what it was. Uh, <laughs> Nine Inch Nails? Is it is. Really? Yeah, yeah Eric is, is singing Eric Nine Inch, Inch Nails. I still feel it's Ace. Well, you, both, you both sing it. Can we do it? This is the Johnny Cash. This is the Johnny Cash. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is fucking Nine Inch Nails. Oh, I was doing Johnny Cash, but I it was the Johnny Nine Cash version. Well. No, well, I, I, I mean I like they, they, it is it is thematically the yeah, same. Exactly. Uh, the same notation. Matt, Matt, Matt does the Johnny Cash version while Ace does the Nine Inch Nails version. Try to kill it Go on, Ace. But I remember everything. What have I become? My 
sweetest friend everyone I know goes away in the end and you could have it all my empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt Actually, this has to be the Johnny Cash version because it goes, I wear this crown of thorns in the Nine Inch Nails Not version because I wear this crown of shit. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Are you going to do the last, last, last verse? I could. I just, Go on. I think you oh, should. It's cool. I wear this crown of thorns upon my liar's chair Eric's full so cool. of broken <laughs> thoughts I cannot repair beneath the stains of time the feelings disappear you are someone else I'm still right here what have I become, my sweetest friend? Everyone I know goes away in the end. And you could have it all, my empire of dirt. I will let you down. I will make you hurt If I could start again A million miles away I would keep myself I would find a way Yeah, that was good. I didn't Eric's know it was Eric until I got that far. Eric sang quietly to himself, <laughs> thinking no one would we, hear it's him. It's okay, we pulled, a, we pulled a Nightmare Before Christmas, where Jack's speaking voice is different from his singing. Indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. He felt a great... Pe that was good, Matt. I let him Thanks. Talk. He felt, yeah, and, and that video, the Johnny Cash version of the video, just makes me cry. Yep. Oh, fucking, oh, it's so sad and so good. He felt a great pain take hold, and he knew it would only get worse. Okay, who wants to play next? Oh, what? Where, where are you? Gumball said concerned. All oh, right, okay, cool. I was ab living. Yeah. All right, was that an ad lib? I thought you read yes. Sorrel, Sorrel. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah! I'm gonna think I'm gonna chill in the guest bedroom for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I here? I'm, uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> into the guest bedroom and touch myself. <laughs> and and I used just like, mess and I used to just like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you in here? Don't say a thing. Eric said as he got up. He then walked out of the room and shut the door behind him. You, uh, do you think we should follow him? Carrie said, concerned. Uh, what the f- absolutely not! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, Seth! Oh, Jesus! Fucking oh, hell. I don't like the way he's been acting! It's starting to scare me! Jamie said, feeling conflicted on whether or not to go after him. Yeah, he's kind of a piece of shit, isn't he? Why did he? Why do you insist on coming to my fucking house when he's like this? Gumbo said they all agreed and went back to playing video games. <laughs> Just ignored him now. Gumbo noticed Blast and Lexi had been talking and laughing with each other for a while, making his brotherly instincts kick in. He watched them like a hawk out of the corner of his eye for quite some time before he decided to go and check up on Eric. I guess I'm gonna go see how he's doing. Gumball said as he got up. He walked out of the room and down the hall. He stopped. Walked past his sister's room. He stopped in front of the guest bedroom door to see if he could hear anything. He heard nothing but silence. How can you hear silence? He then opened the door. Hello, darkness, in. my old friend! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The room was dark and he could only see Eric's outline sitting completely doubled over he was masturbating completely <laughs> still on the bed he turned on the light and Eric didn't move a muscle <laughs> hey can you fucking leave my house <laughs> <God>. <laughs> come on so concerned 
It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Eric said as he turned his head to look at Gumball. He starts he had slapping his wiener around. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look, look at me. Look he, at he had tears streaming down his face. He wasn't sniffling or making any faces. He cried. The only way you could tell he was crying was the tears themselves. Gumball just looked at him, saddened by what Eric had said and seeing him cry. Whoa! <laughs> You know what's kind of funny? I haven't cried in so long. I didn't even cry as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Eric came out of the room this just punching. So emo. <laughs> punching trees. <laughs> He's punching a bush. Eric said, feeling the pain inside him. Well, punching a bush is something totally yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Gumball said, feeling bad for his friend. Oh, we know. Oh, it is, it is. If you could imagine what it feels like to have your soul tortured, <laughs> I'm sure that would be what this feels like. <laughs> Isn't that what it is, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we could all imagine. I would much rather take all the physical pain in the world. Eric said as he looked at the ground, feeling a war rage in his mind and soul. Gumball looked at him, unsure of what to say. Gumball felt a tear well in his <laughs> eye. But no, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. But refused no, to let it go. A few moments of silence passed. I'm finally better than you, Eric. <laughs> uh, can I? I can't fucking read this story! I'm actually crying and not for the fucking purposes that I just. This entire time I have been silently guffawing. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Eric said, feeling darkness trying to consume him. <laughs> Turn the lights on then. He was fighting with all his might, defeated, but it felt like he was losing the war. No. <laughs> kind of just want you to go. Gumball said quietly. <laughs> Is there a way to make it stop forever? Would you do it? Eric said, still not moving his eyes from the ground and feeling Guys, hopelessness gonna grip gay, him. They're going to have gay sex now. <laughs> we can have gay things. These words cut Gumball like a knife. He felt a tear run <laughs> down his face. Cuts and like a, lump, a knife. Hold on, hold on. And a lump form in his throat. Right, okay. Go on, carry on. Uh, fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> Gumball said as he wiped a few tears away. Tears no, are not joy. Joy. Ah! Crying. Eric said, feeling only pain. <laughs> you gotta say this. Uh, and do I? Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you. Oh yeah, it's it's good. It's good. I just don't want you to kill yourself in my house. <laughs> Gumball said, a bit angry as he felt a few more tears form. I don't want to die, but all I feel is pain and worthlessness. The memories haunt me the most. I can't quit thinking about it. Something inside of me keeps me fighting, though, no matter how bad it hurts. Eric said, revealing his true feelings. He let a few tears go. Each one felt like it contained a terrible memory. They were all coming oh out to taunt him. That's not how memories are formed or kept. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You struggling with this. This might be the time to say my catchphrase. Uh oh. <laughs> really? I'm running out of hard disk space. Yay! <laughs> Are we gonna leave it there? We'll leave it there. We'll leave I it have there. To. That was good. Yeah. It was good. It was good. That, see, I told you you've got a catchphrase. So <laughs> Are, are you sure? I'm sure we've got like eight more songs to go through. <laughs> Probably. Oh, sure. Let's speed through them in seven minutes. We're gonna we're gonna Yeah, we'll, we'll no, get them all. And and then Gumball got into Eric's truck and they started it and let the body sit oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we do you wanna leave it there, guys? In, he starts thinking a little bit more. It's okay, man. Well, I'm sure Blast's actual favorite song is going to be Living Dead Girl, clearly. Oh, of course. Of yeah, course. probably. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to change it. I'm making a creative decision right now. Hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> Living Dead Girl as performed by Elvis. Oh, that would be awesome. Really right. in the cage in pills of honest age only one show way to bring the giant down. You know what? 
Seriously, Ace, we should do a cover of this for Captain Creep with Matt singing it. An Elvis cover. Really? A cover a cover of uh, of Living Dead Girl? El- or just an no, Elvis cover? No, 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 no. Living Dead Girl sung by Elvis. Uh, I, an I, Elvis I version. Say, like, an like Elvis an version. Elvis, an Elvis exactly cover that. would be would be easy and as exa- fuck yeah, because yeah. I, I have a shit ton of Elvis esque music that we I've should. We made, should do it. We should do but, it. But like Elvis doing Living Dead Girl yeah. would be really hard. Uh, because you'd, you'd have to you have to give it like a swing bass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon we could do it though. We should have a think about that. Yeah, yeah, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll have a powwow about yeah, it, but we definitely. should probably end the show and then have a powwow. Right, so... Oh, yeah, we're doing a show, aren't we? <laughs> we're doing a show. So listen, using the healing power of my beard, we must all remember that if it looks like magic, it is not magic, it is science, or worse, so deal with it, and don't forget the whites of Eric's eyes are as red as the devil's dick. See you all next week. Say bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're spreading depression awareness through the story.